Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Last time, Egad finally felt we were ready for the dark light device that we knew about for quite a bit longer before he actually gave it to us. We used it to be able to see the unseeable and deal with some ghostly illusions, including capturing our first boo. This time, we have a lot of options for things that we can do. After clearing the last mission, the Scare Scraper opened up for us, which that's basically this game's multiplayer mode. We could go and do that now, and there is some good stuff to be gotten from playing that, but we're gonna be saving that for a little bit later. In addition, now that we are equipped with a new ability, the Dark Light Device, we can go back to earlier missions and do things that we couldn't before. You see that this marker space for a boo, there is one in all the earlier missions as well, meaning that there's quite a lot that we can do there now too. But we're not gonna be doing that either. Instead, we're gonna see what's going on with some spider webs that are just everywhere in the gloomy manor. Because, hey, maybe it'll give us a lead, even though spiders aren't ghosts. What's wrong with it, okay? Something unexpected and gross has happened to the gloomy manor. It's been infested with spiders, and they're redecorating the place with sticky webs. It started suddenly, and definitely not by natural means. At this rate, just walking around the place will soon become impossible. Get back to the manor post-haste, and suck up every last web with the Poltergust 5000. Meanwhile, I'll try to figure out how this could have happened. Atta boy, Luigi. That's the animation I know and love at the beginning of these gloomy manor missions. That's using the old buttocks. Okay, um, I need to justify that a little bit. When growing up, I thought it was pronounced buttocks, because, you know, that's how it's spelled, and I know that English is dumb. And then I grew up, and people told me how stupid I sounded saying it like that, and how it was one of the funniest mispronunciations they've ever heard in their lives. But as much of a stickler as I am for mispronunciations normally, I can't bring myself to use the proper pronunciation for that word, because growing up, it was one of my favorite words to say. It was just one of those funny words that I loved saying because it was, sounded so funny. And I wouldn't dare take that away from buttocks <laughs> just to say buttocks and be correct. So I'm sorry. That's one word that I will knowingly mispronounce just because I love it so much. This is a very interesting way to begin <laughs> our time here. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Spiderwebs, the thing that we're actually here to do, not talk about pronunciations of as words, no. <laughs> we have 41 spiderwebs that we gotta deal with. And if I'm to look at the map, if I'm gonna bring that up and zoom out, we can see that we got a lot of ground to cover. There's all this on the first floor, all of this on the second floor, and yes, we even have some spiderwebs up on the third floor. Any room that has an exclamation mark on it tells you that there's spiderwebs in it. And this is where things get interesting. I have 41 spider webs to collect, and you can see the rooms that I have to collect them in. That is not going to be the same way for you. On every playthrough of this mission, it's completely different. It's really cool. I'm gonna light this on fire and just take that out of there. That's how we deal with really big spider webs. Um, I can also kill spiders in a very ironic way by burning them to death with their own bodily secretions. Not a way that I'd like to go, but yeah. You could have as many as 44, as little as 38 spider webs that you have to deal with in order to clear this. There are some that are inconsistent areas, like that big one that's blocking off the rest of this room though, but for the most part, they're different. You could have ones in rooms that I don't have in there, and even if we have some overlap with what rooms we're finding spider webs in, that doesn't mean that they'll all be in the same places. They're in different places within the same rooms each and every time. I think that's very interesting, and while this might not be the most exciting mission out there, because you are just kind of going around and picking up spider webs and all that stuff, but there are ghosts to fight, there are things to do other than that, and I think that it's interesting. It's probably a speedrunner's worth nightmare, but that doesn't change the fact that I at least think it's interesting. And tisk tisk, ghost, you have no order. I, have OC I, I quite literally do have OCD. You probably know that from how I'm always 100%ing stuff though, but. It bothers me that these books are floating in the air the way that they're not supposed to and that I have an ability that can make things right the way that they're supposed to be, so I'm going to do that. I have a pile of books right there. We also have the piano that the that the poltergeist was playing. For some reason, it wasn't working there. Get you. Wow, a lot of spirit balls. I'm probably not going to get all these in time. If we don't do them, then they just go right back and turn the object invisible again. Still got them all. Hey! Ooga booga! Did I scare you? My name's... Wait for it. Ooga Booga! 
Yeah, so we have found our second boo. They're just kind of hiding in invisible objects that you gotta uncover using the dark light device, and uh, yeah. They can attack you from various areas in the room, uh, like they're doing right now. We gotta find them before it's too late and their spirit balls hurt us, come on. Where are you? They do, the, their, their after images do move in the direction of where you will actually find them. Thank goodness I don't take damage from that. Yet another thing that is not an enemy that I would take damage from if I could. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Yes. So all the boos, they all have names that are bad puns. And you can imagine, I don't need to say it aren't thing. You know that I very much approve of this. But what I find really strange about it is that that first boo that we encountered in our last mission doesn't have a name. He's the only boo that is like this. There is nothing in the game that tells you what that boo's name is. It's not in any sort of guide, nothing. He just is the one nameless boo. Not sure why that is, we're gonna catch that. We got our second boo, our first real boo that was not required. That is the first boo that you can miss. Uh, they are completely missable. They're often not required to beat missions. So yeah, you do have to look out for them. Glad you found and captured that hooligan. Don't you mean Booligan? If that name's not already taken, that can go to the nameless boo. I will find a name for him, mark my words. Very elusive, only coming out when their hiding spot has been found. And they all look the same, but each one has its own personality. Mm -hmm. Try to capture them all. Otherwise, they might regroup and their power grows when they gather in large numbers. Ow. They all have their own unique personalities, huh? I thought they all had the same personality. Stilted and awkward. <laughs> Alright, so let's get that, and I guess maybe they are all stilted and awkward, not only in appearance, but also if they're making bad puns the way that they do. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go onward to the kitchen. And yeah, we have ghosts. That guy was following me again with that charm that the ghosts have. Hey buddy, how's it going? You thought you were gonna get to punch me in the face and rub my big fat nose in it? Well, not today. And that's not all the ghosts, is it? Nope, two more greenies. Not like that's gonna be difficult. Come here, give me four gold bars. Yes, barely got it. Always such a rush whenever they have one health left and you just barely manage to do it in time. It's awesome. Um, also, whenever you finish sucking up all of the ghosts, or all the ghosts, all the spider webs in a room, Luigi will do that elbow thing, you know, the booyah, as I like to call it. Because I'm a 90s kid and we all thought that we... Oh, the dumb weird does go through his face. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, uh, that is the way that you can know without having to look down at the map that you've gotten all the spider webs in a room. It's kind of nice. But on the note of the dumb waiter doing that, I gotta say it. One thing that always bothers me in video games, and I, I know I can't be the only one that feels this way, is when an animation that is commonly seen by the player many times over the course of a playthrough, or at least seen multiple times by the player, is buggy like that, where it looks off. Um, a good example of this, in Wind Waker, how when you're sailing around, the water, the ocean surface, clips through the bottom of your boat, like all the time, like every couple of seconds it does. And it'd be one thing if that was an animation that you didn't see all that often, if it was just like a one-off animation that you might not even see across a playthrough. You know, that's that's kind of okay if that has a screw up every now and again, but that's an animation that you see all the time and they didn't take the time to fix it. I don't know, it just it bothers me. Here we can see that there's a doormat, so we know to use the dark light device in the corresponding room on the other side, and we also see that there is a grill there, which we can use to make some fire. We'll be coming back here later, because we have this thing that we can ignite, but, it always bothers me when there's an animation that is seen by the player all the time, yet they didn't take the time to fix it. I get that you can't dedicate all of your time to graphics and making everything look absolutely pristine, and I get that there is personality and imperfections in a piece of work, but you think that they would at least take the time to make it look okay if it's something the player's gonna be seeing a lot, because those animations, as far as I'm concerned, should take priority, but what do I know? I've never designed a game before. I could be totally wrong. It's just something that bothers me and what I get as a player. You know how that is. Uh, hey guys, two slammers, hey! Get you both of you. Uh, oh, come, wait, one of them dropped gold bars, but the other didn't? I'm not sure how that worked, because I was attacking them at the same time with the same level of damage. Maybe that's a bug as well, right after I was talking about buggy animations. Okay, good, I got the door. And now, we can continue what we saw earlier. And guess what? I'm not gonna suck up that spider web. I'm gonna let this grill do my sucking for me. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds so bad, holy crap. I didn't think that was gonna sound quite as bad. Here we have this uh, sack that probably has eggs in it, and we're going to commit even more spider genocide with fire. We can do that too. 
ignite this wall. And then we can get this. Ignite this big old ball of something. Maybe we could also imagine that this is an egg sack and that we're committing even more spider genocide. No, really. I, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that because I, I do I do admittedly like spiders. If a spider is not dangerous, they are always welcome in my home. I'm for them keeping out things like more dangerous bugs or things like scorpions and that kind of thing. I don't know. I, I think spider is definitely the less of the two evils, and I like how they keep the number of bugs down and keep them from overrunning your house, if, as long as they're not dangerous to people or to your pets. I like them. I don't know. A lot of people don't like spiders, though, but they've always been an animal that I've really liked. And that. Oh, wait, never mind. You did drop something. Just, I was in the way of it. Okay. For a moment there, I was like, wait, what? You didn't give me anything for a gold thing? You sure are a cheapskate. Well, there we go. We've knocked that over, and now we have a source of fire. But we also have lots of spiders that are very not happy that we did that. I guess they were all sharing that web. Not that spiders are known to do that, I don't think. I could be totally wrong. I've been very wrong about biology before. Heck, I'm the guy who asked if hamsters were rats <laughs> at one point. I guess looking on the bright side, I'd much rather kill these spiders that die in one hit than have to fight that enemy that caused me to ask if hamsters are rats. Trust me, I'll know what you mean if you've seen some of my other videos, but. Um, I guess since we're just doing the same thing over and over again and we've been over everything there is to this mission, we can move on to something that I sorta yeah. don't like about this mission, and yes, don't like about the game in general. You have a different layout and a different number of spider webs to hunt every time you play this mission. That's cool. But there is a ranking system. That's not cool. This mission illustrates a lot of what I don't like about the ranking system, cause your best possible clear time is gonna be different every time you play it. You just might not get an optimal setup for it, and it's not really your fault. On top of that, I wish the ranking system, if it had to exist, it either graded you based on secrets found or on time completion, but not both at once. The way that it is, it's just so inconsistent in how it grades you, because it's like, okay, find all the secrets you can while beating all the <laughs> Luigi, no, not beating all the Luigi that you can, but it would have you think that. Beat all the enemies that you can, find all the secrets that you can, do it all really, really fast and without getting hit. With it doing that, I feel like it discourages exploration and experimentation, which the mansions seem very clearly designed for you to check things out and see if there's money inside stuff. Heck, we just did it right now. And that's a little bit off the beaten path. It's very inconsistent in how it grades you! I guess there goes my perfect rank. But yeah, we'll be seeing more of why I don't like that when it grades us at the end of this mission, though. This is kind of a good point where at least I thought I could talk about that. Wanna kill, wanna kill you, want the small change, damn. All right, I guess I'm not getting it. Let's move on to something else with a segue. Uh, balancing is a new mechanic. We can see that we are above the library right now to give you an idea of how everything fits together. I have a funny story about balancing. I played almost all the way through this game one time without knowing that balancing was based on motion controls. I was using the circle pad to try and balance, and whenever Luigi would fall down to his death and take lots of damage in the process, I was always wondering why it didn't work. My experience got a lot less frustrating once I finally realized it, and yeah, there is that icon in the corner that tells you it's motion controlled, but in every other instance, that just means that you can look around with the cameras, that's what I thought it meant. Um, anyway, a bit of a slight tip that I have here is leave one regular spider web not sucked up. I left that one over there, because if you go up here, not only might you miss that gem that is just sitting slightly out of view, your last spider web is likely to be this one. By opening this up, you do get an easy way to backtrack through the rest of the attic. And if you destroy that immediately, you're gonna get the call from EGAD and it's just gonna end things off. So if there's anything you haven't done, then you don't wanna do that. Speaking of which, I think we might have missed a gem that we could have gotten. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Is he gonna? Wait, I'm casting a shadow down below me through the floor. I said I guess we'll find out soon. There it is, jeez. I know I said I recommend leaving one spider web behind so you can go back and see if you've missed anything, and I definitely have missed something, but we'll just go back for it in a moment because, well, it's a video. I may have discovered where the spiders came from. I'll bring you back now to fill you in. Oh, yes. So, what I was talking about with rank. I don't think anything of value is added by having a ranking system. I think it's just needlessly timing you and punishing you for being slow. 
when I think a lot of the game is about exploration and finding secrets. In fact, they hide stuff everywhere for you to find, which is why I find it so contradictory. But here's the kicker. The ranking system is based on all the things that you see there. The equation for how your rank is calculated, your score, is ghost captured times 120 plus treasure minus time to clear in seconds minus health lost times six. It's so arbitrary that it's nothing that you could really manage while you are playing the game. And as if that's not enough, the point requirements to get the best ranks are different from stage to stage with all those things being so important. There have been stages where I rushed through and collected nothing and barely fought any ghosts and my time bonus was enough to give me a good rank, yet others where I sped through, did it really fast and caught all the ghosts, but because I didn't go off and catch optional ghosts in other rooms and get treasure, I still got a one star rank even though I did it really fast. I just, I don't like it at all and I feel like it really doesn't add much of anything to the game, which is another reason why I'm not really all that concerned about getting the best rank. But yes, we captured lots and lots of ghosts. We will give you our ghosts that we are being graded on to collect and see what we got. So two gems, not three. Got our boo. Treasure, which means it's time for an upgrade. We now have a longer meter for the dark light device before it will overheat. I've personally never collected one of these before unlocking the dark light device, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, actually. Maybe I will try that out and just see what happens. So one overheat is quickly. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I definitely think so. While you were cleaning out all those webs, I made an important discovery. There's an incredibly strong paranormal signal coming from deep within the manor. Isn't that the case every time we go out there? I mean, that's usually your motivation for sending us on our way. Now, I'm not sure what it is or how it managed to evade the periscope's radar for so long, but I reckon it's somehow connected to the spider infestation. Unfortunately, pinpointing the signal hasn't been the easiest of tasks. But as soon as I find the darn thing, I'm sending you in after it. Get up, get your game face on, Sonny. He actually did smile when we got to that part. That was cool. I guess I'm going back into sticky situation and getting the one gem that we missed. This is just gonna be what I do if we ever miss a collectible, so let's go. I sound like a bad parody of the Lion King intro, but I remembered what it was that we didn't do that we needed to do. We need to destroy all these spider webs before moving on because I do not want to have to come back in here after the fact. Let's destroy you get rid of you as well. I will destroy you, spider webs. Got all the ones in this room, and we sit on the bed. By doing so. Not only do we get to see that really great slapstick bit again, which is its own reward in and of itself, but we get to come back into the study, which is not accessible in any other way. There is a painting on the wall that we can now make real with the dark light device. We could see this in an earlier mission and had to remember it for later. Typically in my personal playthroughs, I've gotten this gem when going back through the mansion again to unlock all the stuff that we've gotten with the dark light device, since you can get this gem in any mission that you can access this room in, just so long as you have the dark light device. So I don't typically collect it while playing this mission, which explains why I wasn't thinking about it in the moment. And in fact, that might even very well be the more efficient way of doing things, because this room never has spider webs in it. The only way out of it is the fireplace, so it takes you far out of your way through rooms that you don't need to go into if you're trying to get a good time. But it is accessible first here if you're doing the missions in order, so this is where I decided to show it. Hello? Now to be really mean to Luigi once again. Beat two of our records, didn't beat the other two, but we did it. And that's that. We have every single gem that we could have possibly collected in the gloomy manner and not a mission too soon, because next up is the boss. But what do all of those gems do for you? How about we head to Egad's vault and prepare to be disappointed? Or in this case, let down. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so harsh on it. I've been pretty harsh on the ranking system already. I don't want to be overly negative, but I'm not super fond of this. Here are all the gloomy manor gems, all the amethysts. Once we do that, we can click view statue. The gems make a nice base to a statue of Luigi, which, correct me if I'm wrong, those of you that are 3D modelers, but this is just Luigi's typical model with the smoothing turned off and with you being able to see the wireframe and uh, a bit of a shininess added to it, right? 
that's what I think. Yeah, it's kind of neat. You, you get a nice little pose, and it's sort of nice to come and look at, but I never personally find myself going back to these, and I kind of wish that, I don't know, maybe they gave you another mission to play, or perhaps made your Poltergust more powerful, and that was how you got certain abilities and that kind of stuff. I don't know. It's just kind of something that I can't help but feel is a little bit underwhelming. But with that... We have done everything we can possibly do in Gloomy Manor, except confront the source. Next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, this paranormal reading is off the charts. I don't know what's down in that cellar, but it's not happy. Why don't you, uh, investigate? See you guys then. <laughs>